How, how you so doing there? It, how you doing there, Fake Ross? Oh, so it's the internet aristocrat himself. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I just I, I wanted to ask you questions about your good friend David. I mean, we're not good friends. I mean, like I. Well, he, he was. He must be a good friend. He invited you in the crowd. I mean, I, like, I don't, I, like I don't. Like I don't. Uh, like I don't like. Like how like how big of an ego do you have to be to like call yourself the internet aristocrat? It's based off a Gilbert Godfrey joke, which is about the most terrible shit you put in between an opening and an ending. It has nothing to do with aristocracy. It's a a reference to horrendous shit, which is what I cover. Usually furry degenerates or probably people like yourself, incels, virgins with rage. God damn, I'm tired of being sick. Fuck. Ugh. Ross, you're making it worse. The fuck? It's a medic or what's going on, man? Oh, I'm I'm having a good evening. I hope you're all doing sumptuous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's been quite the sumptuous evening, I have to say. Hi, how, how you so doing there? It, how you doing there, Fake Ross? Oh, uh, so it's the Internet Aristocrat himself. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I just I, I wanted to ask you questions about your good friend David. I mean, we're not good friends. I mean, like I. Well, he, he was. He must be a good friend. He invited you in the crowd. Yeah, I, mean, I, like, I don't. I, like I don't. Like I don't uh, like I don't like like how like how big of an ego do you have to be to like call yourself the internet aristocrat? It's based off a Gilbert Godfrey joke, which is about the most terrible shit you put in between an opening and an ending. It has nothing to do with aristocracy. It's a a reference to horrendous shit, which is what I cover. Usually furry degenerates or probably people like yourself, incels, virgins with rage kind of stuff. Are you there? I mean, Fake Ross, can you hear no, me? Like, here's the thing, like, I, I, you, you, you are basically, like, you act, you, you can have this, oh, I don't give a fuck about anything attitude. Yeah, you clearly do care. I mean, you started fucking Gamergate. Well, you know, I mean, I guess if we talk about, you know, like, comparing causes to believe in, uh, I, I think you could teach me lessons, because I haven't threatened to shoot up political gatherings yet. But you and your, but, oh, was that a joke? So I'm curious... When your good friend David invited you into Kraut's Discord server, but then disavowed and said he had no relationship with you, and when your good friend David said he doesn't associate and like there's a little division between him and Kraut, was that an entire lie? Why are they hanging out with violent extremists such as yourself that threaten to kill people for their political beliefs? I mean, they had a target list, right? They called it a target list, and here you are hanging out with them, threatening to kill people. So what what is that target list exactly about? I mean, could your good friend David explain a little more? It was just it was just like re research like, like watch alt right videos and then like point out like the stupid shit they say. Yeah, you know, like get background information on them, maybe find out where they live, make it easier to hunt them down for you, kind of thing. No, I mean, do you dox people or not, Super Kai? I mean, like I never even. What? Have you? Do you dox people with a uh, with a no. uh, shit rat? No. No. Do you, pinky promise? You, you're not lying. Or... <laughs> Was that only? <laughs> no, no. Was that only something? The only, you know, the, the only reason why we came into I came into that chat because we we're talking about how Tim Pool has you know. How there were how his connections to you know all these alt writers like he was in a photo with people who marched in the Unite the Right rally. Well, how many times have you been, uh, hung out with uh, David and Kraut together in Discord? Like, well, no, no, I never. Then David was never in the voice chat. It was just well, Kraut he said he invited you he in. Yeah. So if David's not in the call, why would he invite you into Kraut's Discord? How does that make sense? Take your time. <laughs> why are you scared of why are you scared of H Bomber guy? I'm I'm not. H Bomber guy's a wonderful individual. We watched Naruto you born together. I love him. <laughs> you, get, you, get, you, get, you get PTSD whenever his name is brought up. I, I seem to be doing just fine now. I mean there's no gaps in, you know, my speech. I'm not going dead silent like when I ask you about threatening to kill people and hanging out with Kraut and shit rat and making an alt right target list. See, that's the silence I'm talking about. You hear that? Like, Frick, you, you, you like contribute, like, like, oh, okay. Am, am I, am, I'm okay. I'm making a book about. I'm, I'm writing a book about internet culture, and like, you're kind of contributing to like the toxic environment of 
toxic you know, environment, you threaten to kill people because you disagree with their politics, you fucking sped. Can you name some of these people on this list that you're doing investigative research on? This was like, dude, I wasn't even involved. This was like eight months ago. I wasn't even involved with that. Is Sherrod helping you with the with the uh, text on this? or <laughs> is, he, is he co-writing your book? Is he a ghostwriter on it? Is it called Why I Killed Them? <laughs> is that going to be the name of your book? He's just, he's just a guy that I follow on Twitter. We don't, we're not like best friends or anything. And he invites you into his Discord. Your non-best friend, the guy you kind of maybe sort of know, inviting you into other people's Discords, but you don't so, really so talk any, to him. So any, so anyone who, anyone who you invite to your Discord is you automatically. I, your best I don't friend. use Discord. I'm heterosexual. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, take a look at yourself and then ask yourself, what are you using? And there you go. Just, just why do you have this attitude about? Oh, I, you pretend not to give a fuck about anything, even though like, like. Like it's just this, like you're you're like you're like the manifestation of that. Like, oh, hello, fellow kids. Like that's basically you. Well, I mean, that's some sick hot banter. I mean, that that that's good. I, that's kind of like a skeptic angle, but I've dealt with that. The last guy that used that on me uh, ran away what? from his weekly programming and quit politics. You might want to choose a different vector for attack. You you, find you, you clearly have a bias uh, bias in favor of the right wing. I, I've never hit the fact that I'm right leaning in my politics. I mean, like, why haven't you made a video on the alt-right? There's a lot of cringy stuff to cover there. Why, why would I ever do something to satisfy somebody who's as retarded as you? Okay, why, why, why do the stuff you do, then? You're obviously satisfying an audience that wants to see cringy stuff on the internet. So why well, not do I, something I like on the alt-right? I, I like to annoy people. I mean, that, that's part of the enjoyment I get out of it. And I've noticed that so, people, like, I, people like you and Shit Rat and Crowd get really fucking mad when I ignore the things that you want me to talk about. Maybe if you okay. idiots had okay, you know, <laughs> pressed your, your cocks up against my back and kept begging for a JF video and doing dumb shit like that and harping on it daily for months, we, I mean, you, you've created a new term. I mean, you get that, right? It's not troll shielding. You, it's like troll trenching. I, I don't know. Somebody's going to troll moding or whatever they called it. You've begged so much for these people to be a target. You've made them basically bulletproof. JF could go out <laughs> tomorrow and rape retarded toddlers and I wouldn't do a video on them because you've turned me off from ever ever considering it like okay okay I, okay, I don't want to make a moral argument but think about the effect that it would have if you make a video on the alt-right like what I mean, would the effect be like people people uh, like okay it's no secret that your audience is pretty in favor of the alt-right so and you say you want to cre create controversy so wouldn't it be well, wouldn't you want to see the effect it has within your audience if you make a video on the alt right? Wouldn't you want to intentionally piss off your own audience by by fucking with people that they're I mean, like, like? No, because Jim makes him seem, seem like oh he doesn't pander to anyone. So if he truly believed that, it would would he be willing to make a video making fun of the alt right? You know the weird thing is like you bring up why don't you target that? But there's been a lot of shit that I haven't covered that would be right up my alley that I just never got around to, or other people covered it, or I fucking just ignored and moved on to other shit. I mean, look at the situation with Encyclopedia Dramatica and the fucking the owner, you know, the second go around with that shit. That would have been a perfect video. That would have been something you'd expect me to cover. But no, I, he's I back in jail. You, you saw that, right? He, he's back. In yeah, jail, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've been okay, keeping okay. off and on okay, with it and stuff. Okay. But it, it's really weird. Like you, you're, you're treating me like I'm some kind of network programming and you're wondering why I'm not showing the shit in prime time that you want to watch. You're not my fucking audience. We're not similar. We have different senses of humor. I'm not trying to appease somebody like you. You're a retard, and your friends are retards. And I, I don't want to do anything that would make you guys happy. I, does that make sense to you? Just think of it. Was that a thought? Was that words? What was that? Did he have a fucking bit? What was that? People like people hold you. Like it's no like most of your audience is underage, so they're highly impressionable. So oh, there are, the majority, I, I did a poll, yeah, the majority are at least 8 years old to 11 years old, 90% of them. 8, okay, to, okay, I refuse 8 to, to 11 years I refuse, old. I refuse to believe that the majority of your audience are uh, are not underage. Oh I'm no, they're all, they're all preteens, yeah. No, it's a preteen, uh, it's a preteen army that I've been raising. Jim came to my preschool. I did, I recruited him right out of it. He showed me his channel and here I am. Where, where do you think he got the nickname Negro Joe? He used to be Billy.
okay so like we're tr so like there needs to be momentum built against the alt right so if you make a video like attacking them that that'll, what, that'll, what, that'll what, what what are you talking about why would a guy that does videos namely you know like mainly focused on laughing at people doing retarded shit or disgusting shit why would I need to build momentum against the alt right? Why would the guy that does videos on diaper furs need to do a video on the alt right? You started an entire movement from a one hour video. Like you're talking about Gamergate. That was Monday, Matt. I think we've all come to the conclusion. I mean, like he's taking credit for that. Let's lay that title at his feet. He started Gamergate. If you remember, I left after three months. I said they're all a bunch of faggots and I quit. Do you remember that, Ross, or? Ross, you there? And it had less to do with the politics and more to do with people fucking with video games. Like, if it, if it was you know, the there, fucking there, Republican. There, there was genuine harassment coming from the gamer games. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God, this guy. No, no, like the. Like, there was this one girl who, who made, who made a who made a tongue uh, who made a post mildly cr cr mi just mildly critical of gamer again and she got bar barrages of her, her death threats and rape threats oh well you know so, i mean like, life life is like that sometimes I, you realize you're in a fucking call right with the, the guy that runs kiwi farms and ethan like have you seen the shit those two have gotten i i haven't heard them threatening to jump off a rooftop because of it i mean like that kind of be so that automatically makes that kind of behavior acceptable yes just because just because uh, so just I'll be the first to say it. I deserve all the shit I get and much more. You can handle it. It's it's okay. If you people put yourself out there you and you the get internet. shit, that's what happens. Thing, like, a, lot, a lot of a lot of marginalized people who who, who marginalized like, how 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 do you know the girl that wrote that post was even a a girl? If we're talking about Gamergate, let's talk about the fact that there were like what nine or ten guys running around pretending to be chicks to get nudes and shit on both sides. So how do you know a that was a girl? Too. How do yeah, you no, know no. they were marginalized? Even right? Even oh, no, even even uh, no, even uh, even uh, even who then. Was even, who even, was it? What was their name? Let, okay, let, let's say let's a post mild a, like, a post mildly critical of Gamergate. Like the reaction was still real. What do you mean the reaction? I'm saying how do you know it wasn't somebody stirring shit up? No, no, no I'm, not, I'm just talking about in general, like on the internet, the way we treat each other on the internet. It's just terrible. the real reaction to the fake person is what you want to protect fake people from. No, no, it's just like okay, no, okay, no. I'm, I'm we're, I've, I've moved on to that. Right now, I'm talking about the like in, in a general sense how we treat each other on the internet. It's just terrible. Who cares? Plus, you're not the best messenger for this, are you, Ross? That's what. Yeah, like no thing. Like okay, people, like marginalized people, would be rejected from society. Like the internet is their only. This isn't the handmade tale, dude. What are you talking about? Marginalized people are being rejected from society. I mean, that sounds like a great talking point some sociologist in fucking your intro class told you, and now you're parroting it like it has some fucking meaning. But what do you what do you mean marginalized? Who's getting marginalized? Who's getting attacked? How? Okay, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Do transgender people face uh, face problems that you won't face? Yeah, because they choose to chop their dicks off and call themselves Susan. They right. were always, they were always, they, dude, they were always well, females. <laughs> oh, were they? Was it a feminine? <laughs> <laughs> was it? Yeah. When we had this conversation in VoIP before, before we got on the air, and he has a friend that is transgender, and he takes particular issue with the number of transgender threads that we have on the, on the forum. Uh, Ross, can you explain to me how it is somebody like Iron Liz, right, seems just fine with banter, can handle it just fine, can take a heap of shit, and deal with it with no issue. But you talk about marginalized people, you try to lump them all together and act like, oh my god, every every tranny's gonna fall apart if you tell a, a fucking pronoun joke. Iron Liz doesn't give a shit. For one for one for for one for one transgender person that's okay with it. Ten have committed suicide due to relentless bullying. Or or maybe they committed suicide because after they transitioned and lopped their genitals off, they realized I have made a fucking <laughs> critical mistake. There's tons of literature proving that many so of them feel you, that you way. Think, yes. you, you think that, do you think that societal attitude towards transgenders has nothing to do with it? No. If anything, the society is set up, especially in the United States, to make sure that transgender people have everything they could ever ask for. 
And the only thing that it can't protect them from is they're, they're, people they're, who are mean. They're, but they're, they're, that, they're that's the same for everybody. Their surgery is still not covered. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, you know, that's, that's that's good to pay for people to chop their dicks off. Is that what you're saying? I, I think that's where he's going with it. Like, I've always been, I, when I first met you, fake Ross, I was convinced you were just trolling around. Um, but, and then I thought, okay, maybe it's like a deep cover troll, but I, you're, you're real, you're like legit autistic, right? Yeah. Like, like mild, like mild, I, I was mild ass, but like, it's not mild, buddy. You said earlier that you have severe autism. No, no, someone said, so someone said, no, uh, you, was, you said that. I said I had crippling autism. That doesn't mean. <laughs> <laughs> There's the truth. <laughs> And you said it was developed because your adoptive parents have buyer's remorse. And what? You have a problem. You said this in a voice chat with me. Yeah, yeah, my, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My parents, my. Your parent, your yeah, adoptive parents have parent. buyer's remorse. Wow, that is beautiful. Did you come up with that or did they tell you that? Oh, where do you shit, Ross? <laughs> you worked that one out. You wipe with the left or right hand. I use. I use a toilet paper like any. <laughs> Wait, what you, hand do you use? Yeah, do you use your feet when you're using the toilet paper? He's asking which hand, buddy. Okay, okay, no, okay, now you're Indian. Okay, a bunch of incels are asking me about how I wipe. You're a virgin. You said you're a virgin. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> You've confirmed to them that you're an incel. <laughs> You're like the you're like the uh, Mr. Medicare is like the arch in the uh, 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 the, the, arch. Arch. <laughs> the arch arch incel. I that's like that. that's a new title that's I'm going one. with. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Ross, there's only one person in this call that finger banged the chick on stream, and you're talking to him. So I don't know if you could really lob out the incel argument against me. I, I've done basically <laughs> live <laughs> pornography on YouTube. I think I've one up you in this. The whole, the, the whole, the whole you carved in your anime pillow that counts. Well, that anime pillow did make quite a few squeaking noises. That's why Ralph finds it so sumptuous. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs>